everybody welcome back to my channel thank you to my subscribers welcome to the newcomers i hope you like what you see and if you do please do subscribe to the channel help it grow comment share and give it those thumbs up it helps to circulate the video uh we are going to uh, do the s shape table runner I had posted three pictures up on the groups, the 17 groups that I'm involved in, and made them choose out of the three, number one, two, and three, which one they prefer to have the tutorial on. This is a pattern that I did like four years ago. And of course, I didn't do tutorial because I didn't have the channel then. The channel is only a few months old. Um, I did it in this blue green and off-white so it's a nest shape full of flowers as you can see and also i put a little blue butterfly on the center maybe you can see it clearly because on the picture you cannot really see it but this is what i did to it this is the carnation flower which i use a lot in my patterns because i love it so much it's so easy to do it's fast and it's gorgeous 3d flower and it looks perfect on adding pattern that you apply it to so because i have this already in blue i am not going to repeat the blue color but you can choose your colors that you would like to have it on at first i was thinking about creating it on terracotta color which i started it but then i stopped there and decided to change uh, color I love this color and I was thinking more because Christmas is around the corner. It's suitable for Christmas or any time of the year. It could be useful and it's a gorgeous color. So I might just create it for myself afterwards and not for the tutorial. But I love that color. The colors that I am creating today though will be on the purple. This is 100% cotton thread, four ply, Portuguese thread. This purple also, which you can see there's quite a bit of difference, but gorgeous, gorgeous purple, you know, just outstanding. And also the lavender. So I think it's going to look gorgeous with the flowers and all. I thank you so much for all the beautiful comments on the groups. I mean, I'm overwhelmed with with so many of you commenting, uh, hundreds and hundreds, or actually thousands of people, and it's just marvelous. I also want to thank every single one of you on the groups that did uh, already subscribe. Um, I can see the subscriptions, obviously, and I thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. Also, for the people that are creating the last table runner, I also could tell and see who's creating it, so I thank you so much for that, too. Um, so I've given myself the middle piece a head start. I know it looks kind of dark here, but this is the purple. Uh, my camera never does justice on these colors. It's too bad, but it's a gorgeous, 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 uh, pattern. It will be gorgeous by the time we finish it. So, uh, thank you again, everyone. Uh, you will need a needle size number three and you'll need a pair of scissors. So we are going to get started. This is a very fast, very easy pattern to create. Uh, and I apologize if I'm sometimes too fast. I had a comment or so saying that I should slow down sometimes on the tutorial because I am too fast at it. And there's new beginners just starting with the crochet. I apologize for that. Uh, this comes as an instant to me because I've been crocheting for so many years, but I need to understand that there is new beginners and they're just starting this journey. I apologize again. Hopefully I can get the habit of being a little bit slower to explain things. And I apologize also. I don't know all the codes of the stitching yet. I'm just learning now. So I apologize for that too. And I thank you for your patience and your care and all the sharing. You guys did a lot of sharing on my last two patterns. I can't thank you enough. Thank you so much, everybody, from the bottom of my heart. We're going to get started on this pattern. And you're going to need 13 of these flowers. This is the carnation flower. You can go into my um, playlist I have the carnation flower tutorial there on twice. I have the first one right at the beginning of the videos, which is a uh, purple color. It's a little bit too dark for you guys to see. 
and then just a few more videos uh, down I have it in I think it's I'm not sure I think it's a uh, pink so you can see better the stitches on there but anyway I believe it's a pink carnation so you can look up on the playlist you will need to create 13 of them what I suggest strongly to do is create the flower leave the outside border to the end don't create the outside border right away because you will need it to attach into the pattern okay or you can create but when you're doing the last row here on the pattern you need to attach it to the flower so I suggest it's better just to do this piece here and then when you're going to be ready to attach then you do the last uh, row on the flower okay you don't have to put any pearls in the middle I don't know yet if I'm going to put it on this purple one if I do well you'll see on the tutorial if I do so we're going to start by the centerpiece here which I mixed both colors and obviously I'll be making uh, mixing the three colors okay so thank you so much again everybody don't forget uh, if you're new to subscribe hit that bell notification so you can get notified of the new uploads and please give a thumbs up and share my my patterns uh, it's important to grow the channel thank you so much everybody okay and feel free please to email me any questions if you're stuck somewhere I'm here to help you thank you everyone Okay, so the first thing we're going to do, let me get you a better close-up. We're going to make the magic ring. So we turn once, and we grab the thread from behind, bring it to the front, and hold it. Just like that, so it doesn't run anywhere. We're going to go up three. If you cannot do the magic ring, then do six chain stitch. We're going to do groups of threes, separation of two chain. So we go up three, we do another double crochet and another double crochet. So we're going to have, I know it's dark, but if you pay attention, you'll know what I'm saying. So three double crochets here, two chain, and then back down into the middle and do double crochet three times again. So we're going to have eight groups of double crochet of the three okay and separate it with two chain so do yours I'll do mine try to keep this short because I'm sure this is going to be a long video because of the flowers okay so do yours and I'll do mine and I'll meet you at the end at the end we're going to tie it here on the third place so you're going to have eight groups of three double crochet separation of two chain okay so we've done the eight groups of three double crochet with two separation two chain and we've locked in the third place here i'm trying to get close to, as i can to the camera without blurring uh so you can see so now we're going to walk with slipped stitch to the middle okay so go to the middle with slip stitch and we go up one two and three and we're going to do two groups of three double crochet in here with two chain separation. So we have one group of three already inside of the middle of these separations we did. And do two separation. And then back in the middle again. One. Two. And three. So we're going to have two groups of three double crochet. No separation. We go automatically into the middle of the other group there. So we're going to repeat the same thing. Two groups of double crochet and two chain. And again, back in the middle, one, two, and three. So now we have two groups in one and one space, two groups in one space. Now we need eight done of these groups on the spaces of the separation here. I'll meet you at the end. Okay, so we've done our all of our groups. Okay, I want to close this um, thread back here for the... Uh, for the ring 
Now, normally what I do is I like to go in the with a smaller needle through the loops back here and pull this magic ring string inside of the middle here so it doesn't go anywhere. It's the best way to have your pattern uh, well secure so it does not come apart. Of course, it's always harder to get uh, the small needle through these things, but it's better off with a small one than a thick one because you're not going to make it through it. You just pull it again because I don't want to over pull on the thread here. Okay. That should be okay now. Now once you pull through a few of them, then you can cut the excess because this is going to bother you while you're you're crocheting. So you want to get this over and done with. And this piece is done. So as you can see, it's nice and clear. Nothing showing and it's hidden and it's secure. It's not going to go anywhere. Okay, so now we've done this one. We're going to uh, slip stitch to the next one. So that means to the middle one. Okay. I know it's kind of hard to see because it's dark, but the colors are going to brighten up once I change. So you're going to do a chain uh, double crochet, I should say, or actually a chain, right, of three going up on the middle of one of your groups back here. So I want to make sure that, oops, that you see it, okay? So you, we closed here. You go slip stitch into the middle one, go up three, and then next to a double crochet. Now we're going to be working on double crochets inside of the middle of your groups two double crochet so we're gonna have a total of no sorry we have to go to the middle again i'm sorry made a mistake i thought i was already on the next row and always look at the uh, video up ahead because sometimes i could so do a slip stitch going to the middle completely I could make a mistake and like this at least you'll know before you advance doing it and then you have to come back and redo uh, it again okay so we're going to do again the group of three um, double crochet two chain separation on the same place another group of three so we're going to have two groups of three on the same place in the middle on this row very easy okay so we're doing two groups again of three now when you're going to come to the middle between here, the groups, okay, you're going to give one chain and you're going to come and do a double crochet right in the middle and between them. One double crochet. And then one chain again and go into the middle of the group and do, and do your two groups again. Okay. So hopefully you're going to understand it two chain separation and do your three double crochet group again here. I'll show you in a minute until we go into a, a brighter color. Okay, so this is what we're doing. A group of three, two chain, a group of three on the same place. One chain, one double crochet, one chain, group of three, two chain, group of three. We're doing this all the way around, same way. So now we'd go one chain and we go into the middle here again and do one double crochet. One chain and we go into the middle of the group here and do the two groups of three double crochet. Okay, so very simple, nothing to it with two separation, two chain separation. So we have a group again, one, two separation and back into the same place one two and three so this is what it's gonna it looks funny when it's like this but once all the other rows are put in it's gonna be perfect okay so this is what it looks like I'll meet you at the end okay so now we've done all around like I said don't worry about if it starts folding on you a bit that's because it's quite tight around the middle it's gonna get straightened out with the other rows Okay, now we slip stitch and we go into the middle 
uh, double crochet here on the group okay go up three one two and three and now we're supposed to have four double crochets all to, uh, here in a group so next uh, stitch double crochet inside of the middle we're going to do two double crochet so now we're going up on the double crochets okay so now we got four one two three four one two separation always all the way to the end and then two double crochet again on the same place in the middle and then on the next uh, double crochet we're going to do another double crochet and on the middle another double crochet so we're always going to skip one at the beginning and one at the end we don't do one at the beginning and we don't do the end one one separation now pay attention here we are going to do a double crochet um, 3d on this double crochet and it's always going to be like that okay so what you got to do is you got to grab it from here like that okay you're gonna grab your thread from behind you're gonna do your double crochet as a normal double crochet but it will be a 3d sticking up if you don't want to you can just go overlap it i do it this way obviously i designed it this way because i think it gives it a charm to the pattern so again one um chain uh stitch and then go right into the middle of the next group and then we do double crochet and the next double crochet inside of the middle we're going to do two double crochet so you're going to have always a groups of four now okay so it's going to look like this four two chain four always leave the beginning one and the last one and then the double crochet but 3d grabbing it from here i'll show you again one two chain inside of the same place two double crochet go on the next overlap the double crochet and on the middle one a double crochet so now we got again four here two chain separation and four here now one chain we're coming into this one here so you're going to grab it from inside like that okay you're going to grab it you're going to pull it out and you're going to do your double crochet like that so it becomes a 3d and one chain again go into the center and do your group again of four next space one and then two inside with two chain separation and then two more inside and proceed that way until the end okay, i'll just show you in a second so you don't get confused it's very simple um just okay all right so as you can see this is what it looks like trying to get the best view possible so we're going to proceed that way until the end okay people so we pretty much did this row and this row is with four double crochets now i'm going to change color i'm going to go into the lavender i'm going to cut my thread you don't have to you can continue whatever color you're doing you can do it all in one color or you can do three four colors up to you whatever you think is best or whatever you're designing it for uh, as a gift to go with a person's decor or their favorite color because this makes a gorgeous present for Christmas let me tell you that very luxurious so whoever is getting this gift from you they're very uh, fortunate to, to get it so I went through a few loops and I've cut my my uh, thread so of course I have to stretch it out a bit but no worries because it's going to get fixed now okay so now i'm going to go into my lavender i have to use two threads on this one because i don't have the four ply uh thread so i have to use two smaller ones to make the same size as the four ply okay so you'd uh, tie in your knot 
and then you'd come and you'd make your you skip always the first one like I told you you don't do the first one you go into the second one so now we're gonna do five double crochet I groups groups of five try to hide your thread already makes it easier so you go up one two and three the next one so you're gonna see it better now with the slider collar and then the next one so we have three double crochet we go inside of the middle here and we do two more so we're gonna have a total of five double crochet in the middle two and three here because we skip the first one and we're going to skip the last one of the group one two uh, stitch a chain stitch and then two more inside of the middle here okay on the same place and then we're going to do on the first overlap the double crochet another double crochet and we go until before last so we're gonna skip the last one we skip the first one we're gonna have a total of five one chain again you're gonna proceed to do that 3d wall here the double crochet okay so very simple you do your double crochet and then one chain skip the first one go to the second one and do your double crochet you're going to do the groups of five now and then you can cut your thread after that i'm going into the white after that or you can proceed with your same color okay so two double crochet inside the middle we're doing the groups again of five two chain separation and back in the middle two double crochets again overlap the first double crochet the next double crochet and the before last double crochet so we skip the first one and we skip the last one we don't do and we're gonna have a total of five I'll meet you at the end okay so I've done my row and I'm going with the white now so it's gonna be much easier for you to see the stitches the pattern with the white okay so you'd give it a knot and you'd always throughout the pattern you skip the first one and you go into the second one you go up three try to hide your your thread one two and three go in your next one now we're going to have groups of six so it keeps adding up because the pattern needs to go bigger right so we started with three we have two rows of three okay we have two rows of three and then four five now it's six so we are coming inside of the middle this is five and one more six so we are in one two three four five we're on the sixth row people okay one two three four five six two chain back inside of the same place and we're going to create two more we're going to overlap the other stitch and do double crochet next double crochet next double crochet next double crochet now we're going to have two groups of six okay with two chain separation now here is much easier for you to see one chain separation turn once you're going to come from the side here through the back and then to the front you're going to grab your thread and you're going to do your regular double crochet one chain you're going to skip the first one always go into the second one and do again your six double crochet overlapping the row uh, below two inside of the middle double crochet and two chain separation 
two back inside of the middle and one right away next to it. So we have three, four, five, and six. And then one chain, and then you come back again to your 3D double crochet. So this is what it's going to look like, people. We're going to do that all the way around. And by the way, all of these rows now are the same way. Nothing changes. And it's going to go until, let me just back the camera down a bit. So as, hold on a minute, back it a little bit more. So right now we are here on the first white. This is the off white. We're doing the white. So we are doing six, two, four, six. The next row, seven, two, four, six, seven. Okay, always repeatedly the same way as we've been doing. Eight, nine, and ten. Two, four, six, eight, ten. And then I'm cutting my thread. Okay, then it changes up a bit. On the 11th row, it's going to change up, okay? So let's proceed until you have 10 groups uh, double crochet, okay? So we're going to do it until there. Get you a little bit of a close-up so you don't get... Hold on a minute. Okay? So right now, we are here. We have six... We need to do seven, so we always skip the first one, and we leave the last one. We don't do the last one, okay? So seven, eight, nine, and ten. So we're going to go until the tenth row the same way, and we're going to cut our thread if you're changing uh, colors. And then on the eleventh row, it changes up. I'll come back to you the beginning of the eleventh row. So proceed and continue doing until your 10th row the same way as we've been doing by skipping the first uh, double crochet and skip the last double crochet. And this is the 3D uh, double crochet, okay? Two separation here and one separation on each side here. So nothing to it. It's exactly the same way as we've been doing this one. And we're going to proceed until we have 10 double crochets. Okay, so not complicated at all, very simple. As you can see here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We have ten with two chain and then ten again, always leaving the last and the beginning behind. Okay, I'll meet you at the end of the ten. Okay, everybody, so we pretty much finished doing to row 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And on row 10, you have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, double crochet with 2 chain. And then you have your 3D um, double crochet and then continues on. Anyway, so I'm pretty much done with this. I'm of course uh, changing colors and I'm going into that lighter purple of course I'm dropping everything here my space is small so we're gonna make a knot here and this like I said people this is very simple I already advanced on the patterns because obviously I don't want the video to be extremely too big so here is the purples, so the darker shade, the lavender, the white, the other lighter shade of purple, and then the green at the end. So I think it's going to look gorgeous. Okay, so now we are going to count one, two, three on your fourth one. One, two, three, four. We're going to do the um, double crochet try to hide your thread already and we're going to continue double crochet right after next space whoops so 
So we're going to have a total of eight double crochet. So two, three, four, five, Two, four, six. Uh, so hold on a minute. Two, four. So that's right. It's nine double crochet. Sorry about that. Two, four, six, seven. Two inside. Eight and nine. Okay. Whatever excess you have from. The thread here, I'm going to try to hide it just a little bit more because it becomes a little bit more secure. Okay, so let's have a little bit left here. So we have nine double crochet. We do chain two back on the same place, and we're going to do the nine again. So two in here. First double crochet, three, next, four, next, five, next, six, next, seven, next, eight, and the last one, nine. So you're going to have four left out here, and you're going to have four left out here always throughout the pattern okay so now we're going to do um four chain one two three and four we are going to come inside of the 3d and do double crochet one two three four chain Count again, one, two, three, and four, and proceed again with the nine double crochet. This pattern is very pleasurable to do, very simple, just magical on your fingers, and it's a gorgeous, charming, high-end look once it's all done and on the table. Very, very high-end class. Of course, it all depends the colors that you are putting into it also. It all has to do with the look of the pattern. Okay. So you continue on. So, so now we did two, two chain, two more in the same place. And then continue with your ninth stitch again. So we leave always four at the beginning alone and four at the end. We are not doing them. So you're going to have a total of nine double crochet so nothing to it if your stitches are are correct then you shouldn't you don't even have to count them so now chain four and again turn once go from the side and do your 3d double crochet one two three and four uh sorry uh chain four sorry two, three, and four, and then do your double crochet and do your nine. Okay, so this is it. I'll meet you at the end. 
Okay, so we finished doing the row. I've locked in my third place up here. And now we are going to walk again, slip stitch to the fourth double crochet. So one, so one, two, three, one more, four. Okay, so on your fourth one, one, two, three, on your fourth one, one, two, three. And then we're going to continue to proceed doing the double crochet. Now this time you're supposed to have eight double crochet four five six and two inside of the space here seven and eight chain two in the same place two double crochet again so you can have your total of eight. Next space, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So you're going to have one, two, three. So on your fourth one and you'll have the same thing here so you have one two three out on your fourth one you're gonna you're gonna end it right so the same thing as we did down here we're doing up here so four and then four here too now we're gonna do 12 chain one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve and don't make it too loose because we are doing this part here so it can't be too loose for in order for us to put the stitches after inside or else it's going to look too baggy it's not going to look pretty so you tighten that up a bit okay and again you turn once and you count one two three on your fourth one you do your double crochet so you're going to have the loop this big hole here like that and you continue to proceed to do your eight double crochet this is going to be repeatedly all the way around on this row. So very simple, nothing to it. Two inside of here. And it's going to total your eight. And then chain two. Then inside of the same space, two more. Next space. Next space, so we're at four, five, six, seven, and eight on your fourth one here, right? And again, chain 12. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Come on your fourth one, one, two, three, on your fourth one, double crochet. So nothing to it, people, okay? So do yours, I'll do mine, and I'll meet you at the end. So we finished this row. If you're changing colors, now is the time. I like always to use a smaller needle to tuck everything in and to give it a few knots here and there in between the loops back here to make sure that nothing is going to come apart, especially if you're giving us gifts and then one day some, you know, they're going to wash it all yourself. Um, then you're sure that nothing is going to come out of place by giving it a few knots here and there. I like to secure it that way. And you can go a little bit through the loops if you're having uh, a top uh, row to do, because then you can uh, hide it through the loops afterwards. So you're very sure that it's all secured. So I did a few loops and that's good enough. Now I'm gonna go into the white
So you can make it a knot. And again, you want to skip one, two, three on your fourth one. You double crochet the next one. Now we're going to have seven double crochet. Okay, we had 10 on the Y one. We went to nine, eight. Now it's seven. So we proceed the same way. Double crochet uh, space after space. Coming to the center, we're going to do two double crochet on the center. And that will total your seven double crochets. So you have two, four, six, seven, two chain, and two in the center again. Same thing as we've been doing all along. Next space, double crochet, and we're going to do seven again. Four, five, six, and seven. So we started on the fourth one. And we finished on the fourth one from coming down. Okay, so same thing as the other ones. Now, there's no space here. There's no space in between. You go directly into the first middle of the chain here. So you can have that effect. And you have to do, you, you, did, 12, uh, you did 12 chain. Well, now you need to do 12 double crochets. Okay inside of the middle and don't just grab back loop make sure you grab the middle because then it's gonna not gonna be even uh, your stitches uh, following the row together to get that beautiful effect So go right in the middle of the loop and grab the two uh, threads here in the middle so you can have uh, the straight line to it, okay? Two, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and your 12th one because we did 12 um 12 chains so we're doing 12 double crochet now we don't give it space either again so we're going to count one two three on your fourth one you do your seven double crochet so very simple people nothing to it and it makes it a gorgeous pattern it was so highly requested and I can remember years ago, I've done many, many, many of these that I had orders and sold. So if for people that are making a living out of this, this is a way to make your money. And don't be cheap about it because this is high-end quality and design. So don't take the value out of the creation. So you're going to have seven, two, four, six, seven, and then again, no separation, and you go into the first stitch here on the chain, right in the center. You grab the two uh, threads here in the middle. Make sure that your double crochet is lined up perfectly, or else it's going to give not a nice look if you only grab the back loop of the stitch here okay so you're going to repeat this all the way around and then you can cut your thread if you're changing we're doing the green for the leaves the little leaves and then we'll be all set afterwards to do the attachment of the uh 
the flowers, which we still have to create the flowers. Now, like I said, I will leave the link on the description box for the pink carnation flower. That's what I'm going to use on here. That's what I've always used on these patterns, and it looks gorgeous. On your fourth one, you create your seven double crochet. So I suggest you do your flowers. Leave the last row of the flowers in the bottom to attach after into the pattern. And there's 13 flowers and I believe 13 leaves. Three, four, five, six, and seven. So you're going to have four. This is on the fourth one. Okay? So continue yours. I'll continue mine. Don't forget, there's no separation. You go directly. Twelve double crochets on top in the middle of your chain. I'll meet you at the end. Okay, so we pretty much finished doing the last row of the double crochets. And now we're going to do the green for the last row here. Okay? So now, we have any middle loop. And we're going to do the peacock. One, two, and three. And then come in between the two stitches there which is the first stitch we did come back in for the people that don't know how to do the peacock yet close it with a single stitch again one two and three try to hide your thread come in between the two thread there and close again come inside again it's going to have three peacock one two three and again, grab the two threads back there from the first stitch we did. And now we come inside of the first, um, not the first, sorry. We're going to come into the second stitch here and we're going to do single crochet. And again, single crochet all the way to, through and all of the spaces here. Okay. I'm going to do single crochet on your second one where the round starts. On the second one here, we're going to do the peacock. One, two, and three. We're going to grab the two threads here from the single crochet that we did. And we're going to close it in. And here's your first peacock. Now, next space, single crochet. And here we're going to do the peacock again. So you're always going to skip one and do the peacock. You're going to have five peacocks all together around uh, this round here. Two and three and again, peacock. Next space, single crochet. So we skip that one and we come and do the peacock here too. One, two and three. And again, grab the two threads there. Close it in. Next space, single crochet. Next space, peacock again. Start with single crochet, go up three. Grab the two threads here. Next space, single crochet. Next space, peacock. So we have four of them. This is the last peacock. One, two, and three. Next space, single crochet single crochet and now it's single crochet all the way through to the middle here so not complicated at all very simple but gives it a beautiful charm to the pattern come inside the middle here single crochet one two and three do your peacock three times in the middle again Single crochet, one, two, and three. Into the middle again, single crochet, 
last peacock one two and three and here's your peacock skip this one here and we go into the second one single crochet all the way through until the second double crochet on the round pattern so we're here we do single crochet on your second one we start the peacock one two and three and we always skip one and then we do peacock so here's single crochet only and on the next one peacock one two and three and this is how it's proceeded all the way around next space single crochet next space peacock one two and three and you're gonna have a total of five next space and next space peacock one two and three so now we have four this is your last one one two and three and then you continue on with single crochet all the way to the middle again to do your three peacocks on the middle of the pattern here one two and three and you do your three peacocks here in the center so very simple people nothing to it sometimes the simplest patterns are like the most gorgeous ones isn't it i find and you continue so you would skip like the first one here and you single crochet on the other one okay so this is what it looks like people so we have our five one two three four five so five peacocks on this round and just three here in the middle the rest is all single crochet with one uh, skip one peacock skip one peacock skip one peacock but when we skip one it's single crochet so you do your um so you do a uh, single crochet, peacock, single crochet, peacock, single crochet, peacock. Okay, so I'll meet you at the end. So we've reached the end. Lock it in where the other one is. Now we're going to tidy up loose ends here. Get it through some of the loops back here. And Just close it in a bit here so you can see. So now we have the patterns done. I have one more to finish up. So as soon as I'm finished, then we come back to do the to attach the flowers and the leaf into the pattern. So I'll meet you back after I finish the next one. Okay, you guys, so I pretty much added some of the flowers on already to advance myself with the leaves. And I've already attached uh, one flower into the pattern in the middle, which I'll show you here. I know it's kind of hard because my, my space is very limited, but you'll see it once I am done when I have it all laid out. So basically, with this pattern, 
I'll just turn it here a bit. With this pattern, we're going to have one, two, three, four, and I alternated the colors of my flowers because I wanted to bring out the pattern. Also, on the last row of doing the flowers, which is the back part, I have the multicolored green. This is the last row that we do on the flowers. So I suggest that you do your flowers like that, like I've done mine. And leave the last row out. So do your your basic uh, flower. Leave a piece of string. If you're adding on some pearl, as you can see here, I've added on pearls. And I left some string to have the pearls attached on afterwards. So you would do your flowers. Now, on... On the first pattern, it doesn't matter where you attach it to because you're starting off to attach it. You're going to have, on the three patterns, you're going to have three of these uh, motifs here out. So one, two, and three. And then one, two, and three of the peacock out also that is not touched. And then your flowers go on the other side, or you can be doing on this side, whatever side you prefer to do. And you're going to have one, two, three, and four flowers. Your fifth flower is what's going to be attached into the other pattern, the fifth flower. Now, I've already touched this one, but I am... And I've already attached the flowers on here that I still have to create leaves. So you can skip one space for your leaf. And the pad, the flowers are attached into this, this bigger space, as you can see. And where the hole is, that's where the leaf goes, right? On the center, because we have five peacocks. So the middle peacock, this is where you attached your, your leaf, as you can see here. Okay, so you have your leaf attached on the center here and then on the flower on your last row of the leaves, which the links will be below on the description box for the flower and for the leaf. And then the last row, of course, as you're creating last row, you're attaching all three, all three uh, corners. So the fifth one is attached between patterns and then you have four flowers again which I have three this is my fourth one and then the fifth one is attached into the other pattern and this is what I'm going to show you now hold on a minute there's so much thread and so much ever everything here so one two three, and four, and we're going to have one, two, three left out. So one, two, three, one, two, three left out. I'm going to attach it on here. So your middle piece, okay. So on your middle piece, you're only going to have three flowers, I believe. Yes, three flowers. Your fourth flower is going to be attached to the third piece. So only the first one is on the fifth flower. 
okay and that's going to count like for four flowers on the middle part okay so one two three and four on your fifth one you attach your middle piece to the middle pattern then you have one two and three if you count with the one that's attached to both patterns it's four and then you're going to still leave the three space out one two and three okay and we're going to attach the fourth to the third pattern that makes sense i'll show you so now let's say you're on your last row and you're supposed to have you're gonna have um always a space in between i'll show you afterwards when we get to the leaf i'm gonna show you okay here's the back part so you're always going to have a space in between left out. Okay, you're going to have a space there and you're going to have a space there left out. And you're going to attach it on the three other places. So in reality of the flower, you're going to have one, two, three spaces also left out not to be done. If it makes any sense. I know it sounds complicated, but it really isn't. Okay. So let's say you started. Of course, you're going to follow the tutorial on the flower, which is the pink flower. Uh, this is the carnation flower. And the tutorial link is on there, like I said. So you, you'd come to where you have to do the two separation. You only give one chain. You'd come to the middle part of your peacock here back to back facing back to back and you do single stitch now you come and you're um whoops made a mistake here already okay hold on one two two further up okay so where you have your two stitch separation on the petals on the back of the leaf okay so you have your two stitch here now we're going to create the other two but we're not doing it because we're attaching we're only creating one chain and then you're doing facing back to back you're grabbing your middle peacock here and you're closing in with single stitch now where it's going down you're going to create your double crochets like it is on the tutorial of the back flow of the pink carnation and then we're going up on the side um, stitches here so if you're putting all your flowers on before then you can do your leaves at the end okay so I'm gonna do continue mine and show you we need to be right on the center of the flower direction to attach to the other pattern To a little bit more close up just to make sure so you have the two separation here continue on because at this point we're just adding flowers and at the end we'll add the leaf and attach it to the pattern and to the two side flowers if that makes any sense Okay, 
So just want to make sure that I'm on the right way. So we have amber flowers, as you can see. Better to get the one that's done. Okay, so we're going to have here in the middle one, sorry. So the middle one, as you can see, if I turn it to the back, we have one, two, three of the two chain stitch here, out, one, two, three, out. So that's six, seven, eight, because we have, it's supposed to be eight um, paddles, if you want to call it. So we're going to attach it. We have to be even on it. In order to be even on it, you leave three out and three out. You attach it seven, and then you attach it eight down to the pattern. We got to do the same thing to this one. So we have, we attached it here. So now we're going to leave three out, one, two, and three. So now we are going to attach it on the next one. Because we're supposed to leave three on each side out in order for it to be right in the center of the attachment for the two patterns, one up top and one in the bottom. Okay, so we left, as you can see, we left one, two, and three. Whoops. I went one, two, and three. So we have to attach it here, which I went too far up already. Good God. So one, two, and three left out. Now we're going to attach it to the pattern. And you can grab anywhere on the pattern. Just make sure it's back to back. And you grab on the middle peacock. Give a single stitch. And then you continue on going downwards. And doing your single uh, double crochet nothing to it I'm pretty much finished here and I'll show you. So you see how I've attached. So you're going to leave one, two, and three of these spaces of where the two chain meet out on this side and you're going to have three on this side also one two and three because there's eight one is attached to one pattern and the other one attached so it can come straight even the flower stays exactly even on the middle like that okay and then you would proceed continue in making your flower And you attach it again on here because that's where the leaf goes. So one flower, one leaf, one flower, one leaf, one flower, one leaf, one flower, one leaf. And it goes like that until you meet the middle. So now we're going to have, we're going to leave the three out on this side. Three of these motives here. One, two, and three. So you have one, two, three. One, two, three, four, and your fifth one. So the only one that's not five flower complete is the middle piece. The two side ones is five flower complete because of the fifth flower being attached to the both patterns. The middle one is four only and attached 
to the pattern. So you'll have three flowers here and not four. Okay, your fourth flower on the middle piece will be the attachment up top and on the bottom. Okay, so we continue on, nothing to it, and I will do the, uh, I'll show you how the leaf is adapted to it. Once I start creating the next leaf. Okay, so now we're going to attach the leaf. The leaf has one, two, three, four, and five. Okay, five of these like little step ladders. Okay, I'm on my last one of the five. I'd come to my flower. I'd skip. So you have, um, hold on a minute. You have to leave, just want to, check here how I did it yes okay so you're gonna skip one out and you're gonna grab it on the second one here so you skip the first one of the two too closer so you're gonna skip the first one that's right next to it and you're gonna touch it right here on this one So, I'm on my last row of the leaf. I'm going to come and bring it in, single stitch, go back and continue to finish my last row on the back loops, as you will see on the tutorial. Come into the middle, one chain, and then I grab the middle piece here, back to back, single uh, stitch into the middle again, and grab the back loops only. You're supposed to leave two out, always leaving two out to make that letter, that step. One chain. We're going to leave, we're going to skip this one out and we're going to attach it to the next one where the two chain is with a single stitch. Come back into your leaf here, close it up, cut your thread, tie it through, and I drop my needle. Tie it, turn to the back, come through some of the loops here back here. I like to always knot my finishing product so nothing comes apart. Just pass through the loops. And you can cut your thread. So now you've attached your leaf so on the tutorial i believe it has two rows of this i'm not doing two rows i'm only doing one right after we finish making the paddles so one row only and you attach where the two uh, chain are by leaving one out okay so as you see here i left one on this side and i left one on this side and I've attached it 
the two um, other ends of the flower. And we continue on. Okay. So now that we've done that, I wanted to show you if you're adding pearls. At the beginning when you're making the flower, we just finished tidying up this one here. So you always hide your your leftover thread yarn through the loops in the back. Give it a knot just to make sure nothing's going to come apart. Better be safe than sorry. So when we do our magic circle from the beginning to create the flower, I like to leave a piece of string long enough so I can pass it through the front. I can feel it with my finger. I'm going to pass the string from the back to the front. Let me get you a closer. Pull it well to the front here. And I am going to pass the thread through the hole of the pearl. Line it up straight, come through the back with your needle, smaller needle, and pass your thread to the back. Once you've done that, grab some of the loops back here, at least two of them, Pass your thread through it and give it a knot. Like I said, I like to knot everything to make sure that nothing comes apart. And then pass your thread through some of the loops back here. Make it easier to work by turning the pattern. And it hides the thread very well. So you don't have to worry about anything coming apart. And then you cut the excess off. And your pearls on. Perfect. Okay, we'll continue on. And that's pretty much how you add your flowers. Now, you would just continue. I'm on this side now of the middle, um, the middle pattern. And then when you're going to come to your last pattern, obviously you will have to come and add it on this side. So you're going to have two on the left side if you're creating by the left side and one on the right, which is the middle piece. If you're creating it starting from the right side, you'll have two on the right, which is the top and bottom piece of flowers and the middle piece, you're going to have it only once on the left side. So I thank you so much, everybody, again, for being part of this journey with me. Thank you to all my subscribers and thank you so much for all the people that have supported me, commented, shared and tagged me. I can't thank you enough for being part of this journey. Thank you really from the bottom of my heart. And I'm going to have the pictures and a little video at the end to display it on the dining room table. Now, I am planning to create uh, plate mats and little glass koshers to go with this if I have still enough of this thread left. If you want to create it, I will have a second video going up. Uh, if I'm doing it, I will link, once I do it, I will link it also to this uh, video, the link to the plate mats and, and the koshers for the glasses. 
and uh, hopefully I'll have enough thread to continue and do it. Thank you so much, everybody, and stay safe until the next time. So stay tuned for the uh, little uh, video at the end and the pictures, and you will see specifically uh, how it's all added on. I'll go slowly with the video uh, when I'm filming at the end exactly how I, you know, post, uh, put all the flowers and the leaves together so you can have an idea and you can freeze it there, take a picture, and follow by there when you're creating it. So thank you so much, everybody. Stay safe. Until the next one.